Well, I learned a lot on that trip. Uh, it was a long, probably an hour and a half, supposed to be about an hour, uh, down through the 630 between Canterbury and Macadam. Pretty rough road, solid road, uh, but uh, not ideal for foam kayak carriers. Uh, definitely going to be investing in a proper roof rack at some point in the spring. So, But I'm here, the sun's shining, uh, it's almost lunchtime. I was planning on being here at 8 o'clock this morning, so things haven't been going as smoothly as I'd like. But basically this is Diggity Stream, it's to the north of Spednick Lake Park. It's a twisty turny stream that goes from First Lake, crosses the road here, um, and comes out in the Spednick Lake near the park. So my plan is to go out to Spednick Lake. There's a monument across that I seen when I was hiking the Boulder Walk Trail. I'd like to get to that and just go along the shoreline and see what I can find. And enjoy the beautiful day. It's October 7th and the sun is shining and it's 21 degrees I think the last time I checked. Coming around the corner to a huge beaver hut. It's the current's in my favor right now, but not too strong that it won't be hard to get back up. Um, but the wind should be in my favor coming back, so that should help. It's an absolutely beautiful day. So let's see what we can find. Fall colors are Well, I just got snuck up on me by the beaver that owns that house, so. But he went under again before I had a chance to see him. Another beaver hut. It's been pretty active so far. Quite a flock of uh, ducks flew. Um, blue heron flew. It's massive beaver huts. Which I'm guessing there's beaver around somewhere. And the best thing about this time of year. In October is there's no bugs. I get bitten by one bug, but other than that, there's no bugs. Well, if you've ever been to the Boulder Walk Trail at uh, Spednick Lake Provincial Park, this lookout platform over here is on the Boulder Walk Trail. The trail goes out around this whole point of land and around the lake. We're coming out into the main lake when we go around this next turn. If I remember correctly, you can come out to the edge of the lake on the trail up here and look across on this side and see where that monument is on the other side. I've got an old picture of it from zoomed in from across the lake. I've always wanted to come back and check it out. So that's our first goal.
Oh, there's the monument. Ooh, big rock. I almost hit up. For some 2,000 years prior to its early 20th century use as a lumber camp, this site was seasonally occupied by groups of Indian hunters and gatherers. Diggity site, historic site. What a beautiful spot. And the book drops gig. Such a beautiful day. It's one of those days where I don't want to turn around and go back. But I'm almost getting to where I wanted to get to. This kayak moves along. So a pretty cool thing about this lake system is that over on this side of the lake is the US. And I'm staying on the Canadian side over here. So at some point in the middle of that lake, it is the border. I actually brought my passport just in case. Because <laughs> it said online too. I'm staying on the shore. There's a powerboat coming. Maybe they're coming to get me. I can't imagine driving a motorboat on this lake with the rocks underneath. Be a quick way to destroy uh, some propeller blades. I've already taken a few gouges out of the bottom of this kayak.
Well, I was going to go up around this point and back down around this portage back through a little narrow spot in this point, but uh, if you notice the trees, the wind's hitting the trees and I can see where it's getting choppy out off of this shore, so wind's picking up a bit and if I go on that other side, I'm going to be hit with the wind, I think, more than anything. So I'm going to get to the point. And then the best thing to do is come back this side where there's less wind. I'm out of the wind. Hopefully... Actually, the wind might be to my benefit. It might push me back towards where I came from. That's what it feels like right now. Well, I was wrong. The wind is actually coming across the lake. And making it a bit choppy and pushing me in the shore, which isn't too bad, but it's going to be hard to see the boulders underneath. I'm actually going to go around the point and try and get out of the wind on the other side now. Once I get through the boat. Bounces. Whoa, baby. So I think if I go back the other side and then portage back across that little inlet, it might be difficult, but it might keep me out of the wind on the way back. Oh, oh, and there goes the skip. That's the worst part is that I can't see the rocks underneath, which are very, very close underneath the water. Definitely christening my boat today. And this is Palfrey Lake, I think, on the other side, because there's a Palfrey Lodge, which I think is going to come into view here in a second. But my original goal was to come out and around that island, which would, I think, mark me at 7 kilometer mark. So I've come 7 kilometers, so pretty good distance. And it is not even 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so I give myself about half an hour for lunch, another couple hours to get back. Um, another hour if conditions change. Shouldn't be too bad. There's Calvary Lodge there. Oh, the beautiful spot.
back to the Diggity site where we enter into Diggity Stream. We're going to find out how strong the current is going against it. Shouldn't be too bad. Beautiful place to camp though. I have to actually come out here and camp sometime. Kind of sad to be almost done. Let's see if I can find my beaver friend now. Well, that was it for Diggity Stream in Spednik Lake. What an amazing day. It's just perfect conditions. Bright sunny day, very little breeze. Can't say enough about how great that was.